In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the story palette in InDesign to make sure that your text aligns with other text boxes, especially when there's punctuation involved. So here in this document, I've got a couple of text boxes. In this lower one, I'm just going to fill this with placeholder text. And then I'm going to click outside of that or switch to my selection tool. I'm going to tap the W key. So I can see that these two boxes are aligned. And if I slide them closer together, you'll see that I have this awkward space here under the quote and a little bit extra due to the italics of this big quote. So I want to get that I closer to this side of the box so that the alignment is with the type and not with the frame edge. So all I need to do is select that box. It helps to look and see what size your type is. So I have 60 point type. So I'll go to the type menu and I'm going to choose the story option and we'll get this little panel. All that's here is to click the box and then increase the size. So most of the time it works to start with your type size. So I'll put in 60 points and then as you increase that you can see it shifting and it actually pushes that opening quote or whatever that punctuation may be outside the box so that the type is aligning better to the box. And this number, again, it's always good to start with your type size, but you may have to adjust up and down depending on the style, especially if it's italic, or also depending on the font. Whenever a font is made, the designer decides spacing, and that's one of the things that's gonna be affected with this. So now I've got my two boxes the type is aligning much better. The punctuation has been sort of shifted out into my margin. I have a much cleaner layout now after using the story panel.